all right hey guys welcome back to my channel so this reading here is for my Aries zodiac sign I will, we're just going to do a quick reading today uh, we're going to get your energy the energy surrounding you or the energy of the other person surrounding you outcome and advice before I dive in let me just say this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading it could be messages for someone else so take what does and leave the rest also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. Guys, if you do pick up on some noise in the background, um, you may pick up on my son. Um, in, in the background, he tends to um, come in while I'm recording, so I apologize in advance, and just bear with me, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and get your overall energy, Aries. What is your overall energy? The overall energy for Aries as far as love and relationships or feelings. Just the overall energy of Aries. Mm. Page of Pentacles. All right, that's your energy. Clarify Page of Pentacles, please. Clarify Page of Pentacles. One more. Clarify Page of Pentacles here. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Okay, Knight of Cups is on the bottom, so Page of Pentacles, Aries, you are definitely in this Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, where you are kind of unsure about the going forward, okay, you're unsure about maybe making a decision, making uh, the next move, or making a pass at someone here. Although you have something to offer, you have uh, uh, very good wealth to offer here. Now, a uh, page of pentacles can also be a representation of like good news um, and things like that. So we're going to see here. So five of wands, this is telling me that there's some type of disagreement or argument going on in your energy. You could be fighting with someone. You could be arguing with someone or maybe just um, in a disagreement with someone here. It could be a physical fight, mental fight, or verbal fight as well. Our King of Wands, you're very busy. You're very, um, you have a passion for something here. Um, you have a lot of passion going. You may be very busy. You may not be looking necessarily to settle down with someone. I'm sorry, guys, there's an airplane going over if you hear that noise. My window's up. You may not be committed in a relate. Well, I'm not going to say that. You could be committed in a relationship, but not technically like in a relationship. You're enjoying the benefits of a relationship. Or you could be a very busy person, business type of person, someone very reliable, or like a person that's building their own business, has a lot of passion and fire for what they do. Knight of Pentacles here. So Knight of Pentacles is... Is a really good card to get. This is like an eventual positive outcome. So if you are moving forward with some type of business that's going on or some type of new beginning, um, could be relationship, love, business, job, finances, anything like that. Mainly finances is when I get the earth signs here. Um, this is eventual positive outcome for you coming in, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. This is, this is something that you can be reliable on, something that could be long-term. So if you are like fighting to build some type of business here or uh, fighting to build and accomplish this business or this new beginning, it's going to pay off whatever this is. Whatever foundation you're laying down that you're not really too sure about right now because you can't really see the outcome, just know that it's going to be a reliable, dependable outcome. It's going to be successful. Okay, let's see. What is the energy surrounding Aries right now? What is the energy surrounding Aries? King of Cups. Clarify King of Cups, please. Clarify King of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. Let's see what else we have. Clarify King of Cups, please. One more. Clarify King of Cups, please. Okay. So we have the King of Cups as the uh, main energy, the main focus. Look at there. On the bottom is the Hierophant. So this could be um, someone coming in with a relationship, wanting to be in a relationship with you, 
because I do see the King of Cups. King of Cups is love, commitment, um, caring, nurturing person here. Uh, the Cups is someone like the very warm, very thoughtful, uh, very creative as well. Like uh, in a profession, could be someone uh, that's like a graphic designer, uh, someone that um, does paintings or something like that. Someone very creative, creates art and things like that. Uh, this person that's coming in, um, they have a lot of emotions here. There's emotions showing up because this is the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, to me, it's like they're coming forward towards you and there's a lot of excitement here. So this could be them coming in with you maybe... I don't know if it's creating some type of partnership. Let me see what's on the bottom here. Yeah, it could be like um, some type of partnership as far as a business or something like that. Um, whoever this is, there's, they're, they're very well looked up to. Or this could be your energy. This could be you as well. You're, you're looked up on like, oh, wow, this person is successful. Or they could be looking up on you as, as, as if, you know, you're a very successful person. They have a lot of respect for you. Um, but whoever this energy is here, they're a very respectable person as well. They have a lot of excitement coming forth here. And this card here, they're walking towards you. So very excited about meeting you, coming together with you here for this creation. Now this Queen of Pentacles is telling me this person is very uh, dependable as far as financially. Someone that can uh, grow financially with you. Someone that has a lot to offer when they come in. They ha they have a lot of wealth to offer. A lot of knowledge to offer here. So maybe you're going into business with someone because we do have the pentacles showing up here. Maybe you're disagreeing on a few things, but whatever it is, you respect this person. You look up to this person and you're like, okay, I'm going to take your advice so that we can move forward. Because they've already shown that they have um, mastered, financially mastered um, some of their goals. And so... This person has a lot of love and admiration for what they do, and they may be giving you some insight on everything, and so that's why this disagreement is here. Maybe they have a different idea uh, on the uh, creative aspect of what you're doing, okay? Could be like a logo, okay, or it could be, um, what's the sign, you know, like the sign that you put in front of your store, or it could be the logo for a clothing line, or it could be anything. But let's see. Let's see what's going on as far as love and relationships. See if we can pull anything to this. What's going on as far as love and relationships for Aries? What's going on as far as love and... Okay. We have new love. And we have attraction as well. So, for you, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Again, guys, I'm sorry because that's my son. He just came out of the restroom. <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, this person here that you're seeing, maybe that's why this commitment card is coming up here at the bottom of the deck. This person that's coming in, you respect them so much, you see them, they see you, they're attracted to you, they're attracted to this energy that you're bringing in, they're attracted to this um, commitment that you are showing, this passion you are showing for uh, your financial growth and things like that. This could actually involve, evolve into um, a relationship here is what I'm seeing. Let's see how they're feeling. Let's get their energy. What is the energy of this other person here? As far as love and relationships. What is the energy of this other person here? As far as love and relationships. Passion. Yes. See, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, see, they have a lot of passion for you. They're, the passion is coming because, again, they're a creative person. They're very in tune with their emotions. So, they see you and they're attracted to you because you're so committed. You're so passionate about what you're trying to create about your dream here. And so... As you are gaining more passion for what you're doing, they're gaining more passion for you. Because they're seeing you. They're seeing your commitment and your devotion here. What is the outcome of these two energies, please? What is the outcome of these two energies? One more. What is the... Okay. 
The death card is here. Okay, so the death card is appearing. So there's going to be some type of ending and new beginning here. Yeah. There's going to be some type of ending and beginning. And then the emperor and the tower card is here and present. So you guys may have some issues when it comes to uh, the control situation here. Maybe, um, you know, both of you guys may want to be in control of the situation be in control of your own stability and things like that. So there may be a couple of bumps and bruises in the road that's going to cause the foundation to crack here and fall apart. Okay, so this person that you're trying to build this with, if you don't start on the foundation first, the trust, the loyalty, the respect for each other, then it's not going to work. So this fighting and arguing here is already cracking at the foundation that you're trying to build with this person in the future. Okay. So if this is, um, maybe you guys, you know, with, with the emperor, the tower, one of you guys could be more controlling than the other, or both of you guys could just be very controlling and are both trying to control the situation. So that may be an issue and cause some destruction. So just be aware of that because the death card is there. But let me show you what's below it here. The death card, the king of pentacles is behind it and the seven of pentacles and seven of cups so this is telling me that the death card or this ending with this person is coming after success financial growth and then the dreams and the views and the things that the ideas that you guys are having okay may not come into agreement with each other and it may cause some friction there and that's why that tower is there let's see is there any advice you would like to give for Aries here any advice you would like to give Aries or any clarity that Aries needs to know? Any advice? Nurture. So the nurture sign is here. The nurture card did pop out. So the nurture card is telling me that you need to either nurture yourself, okay? Nurture this relationship. Make sure you guys are being fair to one another. Guys, again, I'm sorry. That was my son. Make sure you guys are being fair to one another. Make sure you guys are listening to one another. If you want this partnership or this, this work relationship or whatever this is to work here, you got to make sure you're showing respect for each other. And if you're not doing that, then everything's just going to fall apart here uh, with the tower card here because you guys are going to stop respecting one another because you're both fighting to be in control and it's going to cause friction and... The tower is going to come crashing down. So that is what I have for you. I hope that this helps you out, Aries. I hope that you enjoy my content. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And guys, forget that I'm still doing the giveaway for the Good Tarot deck. Instructions will be down below for how to um, add yourself into the drawing. Sorry, guys, my voice is going out. Um, <clears throat> so I appreciate you guys for so much love and support. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.